All right. Well, here's a good example of vibrational people. You see, until I shared with Scott Mead that, you know, <laughs> that I had my spiritual experience and whenever something with work comes up, I always have the attitude of, well, it's not really a big deal. It's just bread. And they, I think they take it as in I'm angry about it. I'm just like, oh, it's just bread. Ah! I mean, I don't know why, but, but it's, I would be the one who would be angry because I'm always one getting cut and it's not anything I've ever done wrong. It's the bakery. But like uh, with that, I come back from work and as I'm emptying my truck and, you know, uh, I went to the bathroom and washed my hands and stuff like that. And as I'm doing all that, these, uh, the guys in the office and the one guy who's dropping off stuff, I hear them in there talking about, the bread and all this BS and all this stuff going on, on the shelves and all this stuff and, and all these customers and, and the, the coronavirus. I hate saying it even, but they're talking about that, you know. And uh, I walk by, like, then I go in and put my handheld device on the, on the tray to charge, you know. And I'm like, hey, what's up, Scott? And since, like, me and Scott have, have I've talked to him about that many times. And I've made it specific to him that my whole life purpose is to spread spirituality. And since I said that to him, like, I'm like, what's up, Scott? He's like, nothing. And he had just been talking to the guys, all this, like, you know, saying F this and F that and talking all this bull crap about people. And that just goes to show that I'm on a different vibrational level. And it's not a bad thing. It's like one of those things where most people would rather complain than talk about joy. And if you talk about joy, it's like they're like, dude, you're messing up my vibrational groove. Get away from me, you know. I'm sitting here complaining and you're always happy and talking about joy. Like, you must just have this life of rainbows, and I don't. And guess what? My life is actually, if I was just to say blah, 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 nothing has really changed that much besides my spirit, you know, And I, because I understand, you know. But anyway, those things, uh, they appeal, appeal to me a lot more. And I, I just, you know, not so long ago, Scott would have talked to me about work, and he would have said things about bread. He would ask me a couple questions about some customers because that's his job. But instead, he just avoids me because, in a way, he feels my vibration is stronger than his. And not to put him down because he's awesome. He's an awesome dude. He's a really nice dude. And he's a kind guy. And he said he had experience too. But I don't think he has like the way he says he has. Or else he wouldn't be just ignoring it and going about the way everything else is. And neither would anyone else. Like this person I know, Trish. Uh, I can't even think of her last name for some reason. But it's no big deal because it's just a name. And she's awesome. And uh, Trish and Tom. You know, they're, you know, she, she says that she's enlightened and there's a difference between enlightened and awakened. If anything, she's awakened, but I would definitely say she's not enlightened because she really, 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 really believes in ghosts. But that's why she believes in ghosts is because she really believes in them. That's the only reason, but that's too hard to explain to people. And even if you do, they don't get it. And they'll be like, oh, I get it. But then be like, well, then, you know, there's no such thing as ghosts. Like, but there are, I've seen them. I'm like, well, yeah, we'll stop seeing them and you can. <laughs> so that's just how it happens. But, and I don't, I want to put, I don't want to put anyone down because I'm no more intelligent than anybody else. Well, I, I wouldn't say more intelligent. I am more intelligent than a lot of people, but I'm no smarter than anyone else in a sense of we're all here and we all learn at our own level. And the more you apply yourself and the more you actually do, you can, can't say, I bust my ass and spend eight hours at a job and then come home and watch TV. You know, If you spend every moment of your day working on yourself, exploring your mind, concentrating on how you think and what you're thinking, how you feel, your emotions, the people around you, the environment, the, everything you see. If you start studying life and being that much of an interested person, you become interesting. But the thing is, people don't like things that are interesting these days. They like things that are common, that they are familiar with. And when you're this unfamiliar to people, it's a, it's a, a lonely ride or a, a ride you take alone. I wouldn't say lonely because I feel great. So, I don't know. I just wanted to say that vibrational people. That's just how it works.